Welcome to Simplifying Algebraic Expressions. The goal of this video will be to simplify algebraic expressions using the distributive property and combining like terms. Now in the previous video, the order of operations, we were simplifying expressions, but sometimes when we try to simplify an expression inside parentheses, we can't because the terms are not like terms. The distributive property provides a way to eliminate the parentheses. So just to review, the distributive property states that a times the quantity b plus or minus c is equal to ab plus or minus ac. Remember, you can think of this as just multiplication across addition or subtraction. So let's take a look at how this works. If we're asked to simplify this expression, notice that we're supposed to start inside the parentheses, but we cannot combine 2x minus 5 because they're not like terms but we can still clear the parentheses by distributing this three. So let's give it a try. We would have five x minus eight plus six x minus 15. Now if we combine our like terms, here we have five x and here we have six x. Here we have minus eight and minus 15. So adding the coefficients, five x plus six x would give us 11 x. Here we have negative eight minus 15, or negative eight plus a negative 15. Whichever way you want to think of this, the result would be negative 23. So instead of writing plus a negative 23, it's more common to write minus 23. Okay, a couple other details here. About the property of negative one, for any real number a, negative one times a is equal to negative a. Or you could say, negative one times a is equal to the opposite of a. Now this idea may sound pretty obvious, but it's very important when we talk about the opposite of a sum. This is where many errors can occur. If we have the opposite of the quantity a plus b, that would be equal to the opposite of a plus the opposite of b. Another way to think of this is if you put a one in here, and you could think of distributing a negative one, of course when you multiply something times negative one, it's gonna change the sign. So when you have the opposite of a quantity, you have to be extremely careful to take the opposite of each term, or you can think of distributing a negative one, whichever way works for you. Let's put this into practice. So if we take a look at this problem, our first goal is to clear the parentheses. And notice we are subtracting this quantity, or we want the opposite of this quantity. And from my experience, placing a one here is extremely helpful for preventing errors. So what we're gonna do now is think of distributing a negative one. So we'd have a negative three y squared, so I'll write minus three y squared. And here I think of this as a negative one times a negative six y, the result would be a positive six y, and then plus eight y. Now we have to identify and combine our like terms. Let's start with the highest, let's start by combining the terms with the highest degree. So in this case, our squared terms. Then we have the y terms. So combining the y squared term, we'd have 5y squared minus 3y squared, that's 2y squared. Again, it might be helpful to put in the coefficient of 1 there. So we have a negative 1y plus 6y, that would be 5y, plus 8y, the result is 13y. There's one last example. Again, we start with the innermost parentheses. We cannot combine x cubed minus 3 but we can distribute the five. So let's do that first. We'd have five x cubed minus 15 plus 12. Now we still need to simplify inside the parentheses. So we can combine the negative 15 plus 12. Now notice how I'm saying negative 15. Technically this is plus a negative 15 plus 12. But as I mentioned before, after you do this a while, you start kind of taking some minor shortcuts. The result of this would be negative three. So instead of writing plus negative three, it's more common to write minus three. Remember, minus a positive three is the same as adding a negative three. Now we still need to clear these parentheses. And notice how we're subtracting this quantity. So we could change this to adding the opposite, or, or as I mentioned before, we can think of distributing a negative one. Whichever method uh, you've learned before and whichever method you're comfortable with. So we'd have minus 5x cubed and then plus 3. 
And again, the last step is combining our like terms. So it looks like we'd have 4x cubed plus 8. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching and have a good day.